Friday, February 28th. Leap day is tomorrow. Um, I am married to a nurse, but otherwise have no medical credentials. Uh, there was three years of Latin that helps me understand what I don't, helps me to understand that I don't understand medical terminology. Um, all that everyone wants to talk about is Wuhan flu, uh, which I stick with just to try to embarrass the Chinese government. Uh, but to discuss Wuhan flu, I really should be sitting here in a lab coat, like Mike Pence's lab coat, maybe? Um, if, if first mortgages. Uh, we have taught generations of mortgage borrowers to follow the 10-year T-note to figure out where mortgages are going. But during times of great stress, like 2008, uh, the 10-year heads all the way down and mortgages don't move much, and that's where we are now. Mortgages are sitting about three and a half, no particular change. Um, you know, we're down maybe an eighth during all of this. Uh, the 10-year Treasury note is down a half a percentage point in a sign of significant panic around the world. The second panic is in the stock market. I wouldn't pay too much attention to that. The stock market took off uh, uh, not quite a year ago as the Fed began to cut it, the overnight cost of money and told the world that it would have no plans to raise the cost of money open-ended, which is a long time. Um, and that sent a signal to stock market people that it was safe to buy and hold and pay no attention to anything. The, the you know after a really ugly ten days in the stock market, this the silly thing is just back where it was last spring. The uh, the succession of brand new highs for no reason, no increase in corporate earnings, no increase in, in the economies anywhere. Um, stock prices just took off. That's unraveled. That might have happened, flu or no flu, uh, which leaves us with two other panics. Uh, one of them is people. Um, uh, people are tough. Uh, we're, we're, most people are resistant to panic. There's a thread in, in the United States especially in which a great many people would like to rig a world in which there are no risks at all. And they find the flu business disturbing. But uh, the, the, I mean, the real risk to me going home tonight is the drivers who are texting while pretending to drive. Uh, it's a far greater risk than anything that Wuhan flu brings. But, you know, people are going to be panicky about this. But the, so what, and what's the worst case event? Uh, pandemic. Uh, the worst case event is that everybody gets Wuhan flu uh, until there is a, uh, a vaccine, maybe a year from now. And uh, really, that worst case event is what is at hand now. Um, the uh, Wuhan flu is, is extraordinarily contagious, but it's uh, the illness that it brings seems to be highly variable. There are a ton of people who appear not to have any symptoms at all or nothing more than the sniffles. Uh, we now have a dog in Hong Kong which has a mild case. Um, the Chinese destroyed all of the evidence that apparently began clear back in November. And so we don't have good epidemiological data that would let us forecast how far the spread is going to be, but we'll get that data. Uh, the Western medicos will very quickly figure out how to triage Wuhan. That is, who's at life risk, who needs uh, some more medical support, and the vastly larger population, which really ought to stay home and not even go to the ER, just stay there a couple of weeks. Uh, we're going to figure that out. Uh, the mortality is higher than ordinary seasonal flu, but nothing like uh, uh, 1918. Uh, uh, Bill Gates is on the tape today describing something maybe like the 19, 1957 uh, uh, flu pandemic. The, uh, the third layer of panic, uh, uh, I lose track, uh, is government. China did tremendous damage to its economy by a uh, very aggressive uh, quarantine and shutting down of its economy. But it had to. Uh, China sat on the virus for three months, uh, uh, refusing uh, to acknowledge it, refusing to allow information. Uh, uh, 
and turned the whole country into a petri dish. And with, I mean, its official count of the infected, nobody believes. Uh, so, they, I mean, that kind of aggressive shutdown quarantine may be necessary in a nation that lets the virus jump out of all containment. Western nations appear to be doing a pretty good job already trying to contain it. Uh, uh, the statements by the White House that it's under control are, of course, uh, not true. Uh, the White House has channeled amazingly verbatim what the Chinese government has had to say since the end of January. A uh, 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 big thing, tomorrow's Leap Day. It's also Saturday, which means Saturday Night Live. Uh, I can imagine SNL will have Mike Pence in a lab coat. Uh, Dr. Veep, uh, Dr. Mike, uh, or perhaps the president in the Oval Office wearing a hazmat suit, uh, or perhaps the president just in his ordinary suit and everyone else in hazmat suits so that they don't infect him. I, I, I shouldn't make light of an illness that's going to kill a lot of people, but there are all kinds of things out there. Uh, the, you know, we're not good at comparative mathematics. The developing world is most vulnerable, but the developing world's top worry, malaria, dengue, uh, all kinds of illnesses that, that don't uh, compare to this one. Uh, and so I'm not here to say that the only end of the only thing to fear is fear itself, but uh, panic is the only real economic issue, and my hunch is it's liable to wash out. Markets began to look today as though they might be stabilizing. So on that, have a good leap day.